also made a cutout. Um, in the movie, the uh, license plate uh, was recessed in the diamond plate step uh, step bumper for the rear, and I'm going to add fiber opt a fiber optic line on either side to simulate uh, uh, simulate license plate lights. Morning, everybody. Just wanted to uh, open up with a shot of what I've been working on. Luckily, this morning, my bag of chips arrived from uh, Model Man Tom. Really, really awesome turnaround time. Took about a week to get here, which is fantastic. A day after my paragraphic set, so uh, we're really rocking on this. Uh, I've done a little bit of work. This guy hasn't changed much since before. But I did the decals, and I clear coated. And before I did the clear coat, I uh, wouldn't say weathering, but I was able to highlight the door frames and the various separations so that it is quite... it just doesn't merge into the background of the, or the rest of the car. Um, it's a little hard to tell on the hood, especially with this... sorry about the shakiness, especially with this camera. But I did also weather the grill a little bit, so it's... or the... Uh, I guess it's a grill at the base of the windshield, so it's uh, not so flat. And of course the uh, tailgate was done as well. I do have to fill the gaps, the light that are causing me a light leak around the edges of the rear bumper. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Um, well the underside I showed you this already, but I added a couple layers of primer because my original plan was not to uh, was not to light this thing so I didn't light block anything. So that will should seal that up. I gotta put a wheel a rim back on that fell off. As far as the inside goes, I gave another shot of black. I'm going to dull it down a little bit. Um, this way everything's the same color, including all the new uh, paragraphic stuff that you really can't see now, but will become quite visible. And um, light block the underside. Um, the dash got another coat, um, so I'm going to re-detail that and uh, light block the inside because I'm still thinking about lighting the cluster, the radio, and both of these items on the dash, the CB and the other thing, are going to get a single red LED just to indicate, uh, you know, functionality. With the light bars, um, I'm going to take these guys out, the, you know, the flashers that are in there, and I think I'm going to go two LEDs per. So this won't be movie accurate, but it'll give it a little more life than if it was just sitting there or something, and uh, flash, f sorry, two, so two each, flash, 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 and um, that might give it an interesting look. I'll do the same for the rear, but the coloring is different. I believe the front is red, yellow, green, and the back is red, yellow, blue. I might be wrong about that, I have to view the movie again. And I'm not sure what to do about this. This is the bar, sorry if I was in a frame there, this is the bar that goes on top of the other bar. Flashers, you know the two on the front, two on the rear. I don't know how to wire it, but I think I can actually fit a single LED in each one. I think the pod is big enough. Um, this red flasher here, that'll go on the, go on the top of this. Um, I think I checked, I believe I checked that when I first got it. That should support a single LED, so that shouldn't really be an issue. And what other was there? What else other was there? I still have to paint the window. Oh, 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 you're going to like this. Um, Paragraphics also sent these transparencies for, uh, so I can light the roof rack if I can get it to work. So, no light, light. I think I can do, I don't know, I hope it's deep enough, but I think I can put um, a strip, strip LED in there. 